In complete contrast, let's turn our attention to the racing skiff, and in particular, the men connected with it. Men like Tom Phelps. For the name Phelps is synonymous with rowing, and this happens to be the centenary of that distinguished family. Tom won the famous Doggett's Coat and Badge race, which we'll tell you about soon, in 1922. Harry on the left in 1920, and Edwin, last in the line, in 1938. Today, he's a leader in the field of boat building, too. Bill, chief boatman to the University of London, calls himself the family weekly because he didn't win the coveted coat and badge. Just the same, he won countless other events. Now let's take a look at the famous race itself, at which former winners, like another Phelps, Jack, winner in 1928, turned out in full regalia. And they've got good reason to be proud of it, because Doggett's, only open to young watermen who have just completed their apprenticeship, was first rowed in 1715, and has been held every year since, except during the two world wars. The founder of this historic event, rowed between London Bridge and Chelsea, was Thomas Doggett, a well-known actor in the days of George I, when the Thames was London's main highway, and the watermen were the equivalent of modern taxi drivers. By the way, the starter is Harry Phelps. The five competitors are lined up, and away they go, with four miles, five furlongs of river ahead of them. As we're not so much concerned with the rival boats as with the race itself, we'll butt in to add that when Doggett died, he left a sum of money in his will to be used annually for the purchase of a red livery and silver badge. The legacy is managed today by the worshipful company of fishmongers, who also provide the racing gigs. The first Phelps to win Doggett's, which happens to be the oldest event in the English rowing calendar, was Honest John in 1860. Since then, they've won it ten times, more than twice as often as any other family. And what makes this achievement even more remarkable is that no one has more than one chance to win. Who knows what the Phelps boys might have won, but for this, 